ho, ho, Merry Christmas. So today is currently Christmas Eve and Sunderland have just made a huge announcement. What a time to make it. That, uh, I'm going to butcher his name, aren't I? Kyrill Lewis Dreyfus is going to become the majority shareholder of the club. This does not mean that Stuart Donald and Charlie Metherin and the like are going to be leaving. They'll just have a smaller share of the club. I think it's mainly Stuart Donald's share that is going to be bought out, but he is going to remain uh, on the uh, on the books, which is a shame, which is the main thing. But I'm just happy that that man with the beard isn't going to be getting the club. Um, of course, preferably, I wouldn't want Stuart Donald and Charlie Metherin there. But this could potentially be something very, very exciting. It is all pending on the, the EFL and whether they accept it. Um, it's all been lodged and sent to the EFL now and it's uh, said to be um, judged either to yes or no um, come mid-January, given the time of the year. But anyway, I am going to read out the full statement to you. It's quite a heavy one, but I'm going to read it out to you and then I'll just give my thoughts and we'll talk about Dreyfus uh, in general. So this is the statement. Sunderland AFC can announce that an agreement has been reached for Kyrill Lewis Dreyfus to acquire Stuart Donald's controlling interest in the club. If approved by the EFL, the deal will see Lewis Dreyfus become chairman of the Wayside Club early in the new year. Donald said, it's been no secret that I've been looking for some time to find the right person to take Sunderland forward and during the course of the last year, there have been a lot of different people wanting to take over. However, even though it is a matter of public record that some of those bidders offered me more money, I felt that they offered less to the club and to the community. Whereas from the early meetings with Kyrill, his family and advisors, I've been greatly impressed with their knowledge and understanding learned over a long period as owners of major football clubs in Belgium and France. I believe that experience combined with a good plan will provide a platform for the club to progress. I look forward to watching that progress from afar. Lewis Dreyfus said, First, I would like to thank Stuart Donald for his integrity and reasonableness over the last three months, which has led me to having the opportunity to take a controlling stake in Sunderland AFC. I am fully aware of the efforts undertaken by the current ownership and board to protect the viability of the club and respect the difficulty of this task given Sunderland's recent past in the current economic climate. We respectfully await the EFL's approval for this transaction. Nonetheless, it would be remiss of me at this stage not to emphasise what an enormous honour it would be for me to become involved with such a historic club in a city renowned for its rich football culture going back to 1879. Many will be aware of my family connections to the industry and in acquiring Sunderland AFC, I understand the responsibility that's placed upon me as the custodian of the club's future. Moving forward, we have a long-term strategy which integrates Sunderland's proud traditions with a modern structure and approach. We will seek to be at the frontier of research and innovation in all performance domains and place great emphasis on player development and the team's style of play. We want to create a team that is entertaining to watch and that embodies the spirit and the culture of those who attend, thereby reconnecting the team with its fan base, whose support will be so vital to our success. In the midst of a global pandemic, we should all be aware of the difficult situation the club is currently in and the challenges we face in the months to come. However, through hard work, a diligent plan and togetherness from the board of directors, staff, players and supporters, we can, between us, create a brighter future at the Stadium of Light. If we all play our parts, I firmly believe we can restore Sunderland AFC to the top tier of English football, and I can't wait to get started. Documentation relating to the deal has been lodged today with the EFL for the scrutiny, and the club recognises that the EFL needs to approve all aspects of the transaction and business plan going forward before any change of control. Given the time of year, that process is not expected to conclude until mid-January, until which point there will be no further public comment from Sunderland AFC or Kyrill Lewis Dreyfus. So that is what the club has to say. And of course, you could take it one or two ways with the whole story, will story thing. Um, because it does seem as though Shoot Donald in that, um, in that announcement there, that he does acknowledge that there was a bid which was higher than the current one from Dreyfus. Uh, because story has been very public, um, pro probably breaking NDAs all over the shot, although he claims not to have done. Um, but he was very public and he was very vocal about saying that he is offered, I think it was 35 or 45 million, which is pretty much 10 million more than what Donald was um, asking for. Now, you can look at this one way or the other. 
either Stuart Donald has actually seen what Will Surrey wanted to do with the club and thought, no, this is not for us. For me, I, I'd like to look at it that way because Story, he has a horrendous history and I don't respect the man in any way, shape or form. And I think he would destroy this football club if Stuart Donald remained as a majority shareholder. I believe he would have destroyed the football club. So it's, it's literally choosing uh, between two evils there. And I would have rather Dreyfus just have the sole share of the club 100%, if anything, or, or anyone with, with a bit of backing. Um, but that isn't the way it's worked out. So we need to deal with what we've got right now. So it, it's interesting that he has acknowledged that, um, that Will Story did put in a, a big bid. I'm, I'm presuming he's talking about him anyway. And so he's accepted less, but is that because he's either looking out for the club or because he wanted a piece of the cake? And I think it is that one, in all honesty. You'd like to think it was the first one, but I think Stuart Donald just wanted his clause in the club, even if it is for a fraction of the percentage of the club that he has right now. So for me, is, is this good? Yeah, I think it is. I think it is, given that... Dreyfus, you know, is only a very, very young lad. Uh, looking him up, it says he's only 22 years of age, although there has been reports that say that that's wrong and he's at 26, 27. But either way, it is a very, very young lad. Now, he isn't the rich one. This is the thing that has concerned me since he was linked. He isn't the rich one. Of course, he'll have a bit of money about him, but his late father, who used to have the majority shareholder or the majority shares in Marseille, I believe it was. Um, he was also a CEO of Adidas. He's a multi-billionaire, or he was a multi-billionaire, and then that's all tied up in bonds now, all that money. And it's his mum that has access to that money, not necessarily him. Everything would have to go through his mum. But he does say in that, in that announcement there, that um, Stuart has spoke with not just Louis Dreyfus um, or Cairo Louis Dreyfus, but his family as well, and his advisors. So you'd like to think that his mum was involved. It's weird that I have to talk like this, because, you know, it would be a little bit unprofessional and almost embarrassing to say you know like mummy and I need an extra 10 million for this or mummy I need to do this if he's just a little mummy's boy and he gets all the money he wants then welcome aboard to Sunderland son because if she's got billions then by all means rinse the bitch we need the money <laughs> I'm only joking of course kind of but yeah it, it does seem that he has a plan in place of course mentioning the development of players which would of course mean the youth which is something we already have foundations for now now that we do have you know a head coach rather than a manager and we also have a new sporting director in uh, Christian Speetman so of course it kind of fits well with everything that's just been molded to the club it's almost as if it's been set up perfectly for him um to take over so if that is the case, I'd expect a lot of work on the youth, which is brilliant. That's what we want. We want to be proud of our youth system. It's uh, one of the best academies in the country, yet it's just produced garbage, or, or at least it's been managed poorly, should I say. And the standard there has been very low. So if we can upgrade that, that'd be brilliant in terms of the quality. You can't really upgrade the academy itself too much more. Um, but yeah, it, it, it looks positive, and it all happens on Christmas Eve, which is lovely. So that, those, those are my thoughts, just a quick one, because uh, I'm about to get a few berries down me, to celebrate the Christmas period. And this is probably going to be the last video I do until next year. So what a video to go out on, yeah? So uh, anyway, you guys let me know in the comments down below what you think, and uh, please hit the like button. You know, it's the last video of the year. Hit that like button. If you don't usually like it, but you watch my content, just hit the like button. Just do it. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> As a Merry Christmas to me, hit the like button. Anyway, if you have enjoyed, again, hit the like button. Again, I keep saying it. Uh, subscribe if you are new to the channel and you do enjoy the content, of course. And uh, yeah, you take care and stay jamming. <laughs>